Hello, so let's continue with tutorial 3. So now let's move to part 3. So here I'm going to show you how to use another solver, potential, potential, a potential solver, not name call a uh, potential phone in open phone. Now, so remember a potential solver is a solver that is in basically rotational and incompressible, okay? So pretty much it, it, it is a huge approximation to reality, okay? It's not as good as a as full and aware stokes equation no? solvers. However, we can use these solvers to get initial conditions, okay, to run uh, a full viscous solution, okay? So basically what we're going to run, potential phone, get initial conditions, something much better than the uniform flow, and then we run the standard so uh, solution. So we have this solver located here in C4. Uh, just to remind you that also the questions that we're solving are different. So SB skin and SB solutions and control D, they're slightly different, okay? Than the dictionaries that we were using previously, okay? So here we have the steps and basically what we're going to do is this. After running the, this, the solution, see that we're going to have a non-uniform field for velocity and pressure. And these fields, now we can use it as initial conditions. So as you recall previously, we used uniform 100. Okay, but having this, it is much better. Okay, it will help you. The it will help to, to to get more stability in your solution. However, not necessarily. It will help you in setting the ins the instability, like in the previous case that we used set fields. Okay, so running the solver. Okay, so this is the output screen. Later, we're going to see this. So let's run the the, the solver. So as you go to C four. Okay, you will have the solver there. So let me do some cleaning here that have something there. So you will find these two scripts, okay? So you have the script to run the potentials phone, and then this is the script to run icophone, like in the previous cases, but using the solution. It's very straightforward, okay? So one important thing that is you enter into, into uh, the, bond, the setup of boundary conditions should be the same as the one that you have in the previous case. So here, if you open the files, they're exactly the same. Constant, these two files are not used by potential phone. Potential phone doesn't need these files, but then when you run icophone, you need to put it, okay? And as you go into system, see that we have diff two additional folders here, icophone and potential phone. So here we have the different input file for each solver. So first, let's take a look at these files that we have for the potential solver, okay? So see that control D, we're not using any functional object, we don't need those, okay? SB skins, we set up, so see that we have less variables, okay? Because this is a different equation, it's a very simple equation. SB solution, this is the setup. Important that this solver is going to iterate, so a new number of iterations that is going to do is controlled by this. And uh, it's strongly recommended to do 10 iterations, okay? So let's run this case and see what happens, okay? So we go S run potential and see that here it is. This is already running. See that you have the 10 iterations that we mentioned within a single loop, okay? So this Here you need to loop in time, nothing, just one single iteration time step and then you do these 10 corrections and what is interesting here see that it's converging well see that it's starting from this main and then goes down but this solver you can also use it to get an idea of the sensitivity of your mesh to to grading computations so when you run this solver and you see that these residuals remain stalled they don't go down they remain like 100 100 100 it means that your mesh it's very sensitive to grading. So you need to use a very good numerics or even better, you can improve the mesh. Okay, so what we did here, run that solver, you can take a look at this grid here, run potential. So see that we're running potential, see that we move some files, okay, to system, now we're going to use these input files into system related to potential, regenerate the mesh, do some cleaning and potential phone, okay, with these suctions. So if I launch now Paraphone, see that now you have U and P. And we can use this as initial conditions to run now Icophone, okay, like we have done so far. So important now, also maybe it, you will understand better this zero org folder, okay? So this is not compulsory. I just added to keep a backup of my original files. So see that 
if I open these files, and let me open just you see that now I overwrote the information in this file. So see how here you have an initial field, okay? Even in the boundary conditions, see that you have one field. You are losing the original information. So the idea of having this, this one is to have a backup. Okay, so see that now this is the starting point. So if at one point you are not happy with this, you just copy the files there. So this is the idea of this zero or G. So now that what we, we can do is that you have this, we have the same mesh, okay? We're using the same mesh to run this one. Now we just can run icophone. So see that in this script, you have the steps. So you don't need to redo the mesh, simply use the new f input files that you have insisting icophone, okay? For, to control the numeric. So you move files and then run icophone. Icophone is going to need these files that you already have there. Okay, so that's all. So also you can do like this. You can take this UMP and you can go and put it here in one of these cases that you have C2 and C1, okay? As the measures are the same, it will work, okay? But it's better to put everything in one single directory, okay? So now you have the solution and you run your solver icophone. Okay, so it's taking that initial condition using potential phone and it's going to start. So that is a much better a starting point than using the uniform field. Okay, so as you look at here, see that you are starting from a uniform field equal to zero and one zero zero. Now we have something that is much better. So that is going to improve your convergence rate. It's going to give you more stability. Not necessarily will go, it will unset a faster instability like we have seen. And actually the sec fields method is much better because that one unsets much faster than instability. This case will be equivalent to C1 or C2 where you have a very long transit. However, there are some situations that it, it, it might be better to use this kind of uh, initialization. So this is another trick. So now you have two tricks for initialization. You can use sec fields or you can use potential phone. Again, just reminded that potential phone, it is uh, in, <coughs> in visit incompressible solver, irrotational. So it have a lot of limitations. So you cannot use this one to compute initial conditions, let's say for compressible solvers, high Mach number, because you are not going to get that information. Okay, so usually you use it in incompressible solvers. So let me stop this one in the brutal way, control C. So see that you have a solution there. And now if I launch Paraphone, let's see what we have so far. So see that time zero, See that these are my initial conditions now. So as you compare with the previous ones that it was uniform, now you, you have a very good starting point. And as you press play, off you go. So this is much better in terms of stability. Okay, M many cases, this is it's better, it's better to use this potential initialization rather, rather than set fields. Okay, so this is a matter, let's say experience or also the cases, but you can play with these options in your cases. So let me stop here, okay, close this one. So this, very simple, just to show you another way to do initialization. So in the next case, what we're going to do is, is look at that here, we use the same meshes. So in the next case, we're going to go use a coarse, uh, I'm going to interpolate the solution for a coarse mesh to a finer mesh, okay? So you're going to find that one in C6. So I hope you didn't erase the solution that computed that you computed in C3 or C4 or C2. Have that solution there because we're going to use it. Okay. So that's all for your for this case. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.